I'm home cold, just dead in trial. Why ain't I see you around by when You said you don't drink anymore. Um, <laughs> yeah. And, and I'm going to touch on that because I learned something about you. You know, you and I are working on a, uh, on the project. You know, I yeah. spent a lot of time with you, and I picked up on something that you said. What's that? You said when we was talking about the character, mm. how he struggled with alcoholism. Mm. And I, you was like, nigga, that's me. Right. Oh, but I didn't struggle with it. Yeah. I was enjoying the fuck out of myself. <laughs> <laughs> it was nothing wrong with it. It was a great time. <laughs> at the time of my life. But, you know, you got to know um, your human body. Things work. If you take, if you have a headache and you take an aspirin, nine times out of ten, it works. Mm -hmm. So, if you're gonna keep drinking cognac a fifth a day for over twenty years, your liver gotta be screaming, "Help me!" Mm -hmm. So sometimes you gotta, you gotta know when to stop things. Mm -hmm. And I'm the type of person, I'll stop the, the day before it turns detrimental. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's what I did. I just like stop. I said, you know what? I want to be sober. For as long as I was fucked up. Yeah. If I was fucked up for the, for the past 20 years, I want to be sober for the next 20 years. That's, you know? Yeah. And here it is. It's, it's all willpower. Mm -hmm. You just push that button and it happens. Mm -hmm. You know? So I'm not to, uh, not to belittle anybody that's going through yeah. uh, addiction, addiction yeah. non stopping problems. Yeah. You know, for different people, it's different. Yeah. But I got a whole different things on my mind. So I just stopping was the easiest thing for me. Just like I'm vegan. And I stopped cold turkey. Mm -hmm. Get it? Stop cold turkey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, for real talk, you know. So I mean, talking about addiction. So usually, the, the, it's deep, <clears throat> it's deeper than that. When you pull the layers back, you know mm -hmm. what I mean. So do you think that your addiction to alcohol? And usually with alcohol comes, and I ain't gonna pry and get up uh, all up in your shit. But usually comes other shit with that. You Absolutely. know what I mean? Everything. Yeah. So do you think that? It was deeper issues that you were self-medicating, or you just just doing the shit because that's just what you, you know. Like. Why I was doing it? Yeah, I figured it out. Mm -hmm. Cause I was fucking bored. I was bored. Really? Some people can't stand themselves, mm -hmm. and you just sit there, you're by yourself, and you're alone, nothing to do, you know. So you try to find something to do. You watch TV, or you read a book, or you make a drink, you smoke some weed, or do whatever the fuck. You're bored, and you can't stand sitting with yourself. I've learned to accept myself and, and, and actually like myself now, mm -hmm. you know? And, you know, I just, uh, now I have a new addiction. I like Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And I, you know, like, all I, all, all I drink is water now, you know what I mean? Yeah. Actually, here's, here's the L shit, yo. They tried to tell me I had diabetes. And they said type 1. Type 1, one is a type that you're supposed to be born with. Right. You know, I don't know if something happened with all this COVID shit. Yeah. But I had gotten acquired diabetes, you know, yeah. type one. Wow. You know, they said my levels were like 700. Mm -hmm. You know, normal blood sugar level is allegedly from 70 to 120. Mm -hmm. I was a 700. They said, yo, you walking dead. You must be from Brooklyn because you're still alive. You know what I mean? <laughs> and they hooked me up to IV and all that shit. They said, yo, you're going to have to take insulin for the rest of your life, da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. I was like, fuck out of here. I'm not doing none of that shit. Mm -hmm. All right, look. I changed my whole diet, mm -hmm. changed my whole lifestyle, took a whole bunch of supplements, mm -hmm. and da-da-da, and that same water evaporates at 100 degrees, mm -hmm. that 100% that thinking frame. I was like, it's, now it's reversed. Yeah. It's not a sign of it in me. Mm -hmm. I had one of those things you put on your arm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You go to your phone. Yeah, yeah. And you pull up the application. It tells mm -hmm. you your, your blood sugar levels. My shit is all normal, 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 normal. And you did so that I reversed diet, it. Just with diet. Diet, supplements, mm -hmm. proper thinking, mm -hmm. and, you know, real talk. Yeah, yeah. Cut out all sugars, all, all, all white foods, starches, you know. But now I'm okay. Mm -hmm. I have some M&Ms the only way here. Like, yeah. I'm good, good, good now. But. Some things still stay with me. Like, I don't drink soda no more. Yeah. I just drink water, maybe a coffee every now and then, you know, no liquor, you know. And I'm just focused and I'm clear now. Yeah. And so from here to whatever, it's just a whole different kind of ball game now, you know. So why do you think that, I mean, it's interesting that you say that you felt like you couldn't sit with yourself, like you didn't like yourself. Like what, 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 why, you know, what, what spawned that? You know what I'm saying? Why do you think that was? Mm, uh, I don't know, man. I was just bored, man. Mm -hmm. 
bored and existing, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, just bored, man. You know? Even with all the accolades, the touring, the money, all of that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because, you know, put like this, man, once you had it once, like you had it twice and three times, like, okay, mm -hmm. like, you know, not to mm -hmm. belittle the, the greatness of the success and everything, right, right, right. but that shit, you know, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. But what I do know is sometimes you got to put your foot down mm -hmm. and stop shit. Yeah. And that's what I did. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know. So. Hey, you kudos know. to you for doing that. And I was doing drugs all my fucking life since I was like fourteen. Wow. Fred Joe gave me my first, uh, my first hardcore drug, LSD. We was like fifteen doing LSD, the little paper tabs you put on your mm -hmm. tongue, like Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. That's you know, some hallucinogenics so, type shit. Type yeah. shit. You know. Yeah. 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 So wow. you know, I, and I'm blessed to have been through everything and 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 focus like a fucking a pen right now, you yeah. know. But you know, that's your testimony. I mean, you know, you went through that to be. Able but to I've never been now. known yeah. for for anything like that. Nah, cause nah. it wasn't like that. I never, I never heard no. So shit. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Like that, you know what I mean? You, say, you wasn't you wasn't Rick James. You yeah, wasn't it wasn't Rick like James, that. bitch. <laughs> <laughs>